Welcome back to Three Orcs Place. We have finally kind of unwound unwounded ourselves. Can we put that in the bloopers? Uh, it's there. It's uh, okay, well we uh, we're, we kind of calmed down from all of our intense talks. Yeah, now we're just doing more Disney stuff. Disney shenanigans. I'm not gonna lie, I can't. I, I hope at one point we actually get big enough to the point where actual random people just start making stupid compilations of our dumbassery. That'd be cool. Like, like, can uh, can we get a counter of how many times I've been fired over the course of this channel? Um, I'm, I'm not going through it back. Like, oh, are we starting again though? Yeah. Yeah, Matt, you're fired. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to go back to all of our yeah. episodes right no, now. No, I honestly thought about that too. I'm like, that would take someone who's devoted. Plus, we actually have to maintain the channel. Yeah. I just think it would be hilarious if we actually did get to the point where people started making compilations of our shit. I'm in the steel type gym now and my, my shining pearl and I realized I didn't choose Torterra. I have Inferno, which is just as useful. Because both of my stabs beat steel. But I'm also an Infernape. Yeah, that making me fuck me up. And, like, let's be real, a lot of steel types can learn ground type moves, especially when one of those steel types is a Steelix. Yeah. Still not sure why they went. They didn't just use some of the platinum elements for the remake. I think it would have been nice to see a very mixed game, like, where it takes a lot of inspiration from platinum. Like, Let's see, like, get the Platinum Regional Decks in there. Platinum Regional Decks and give Flint his Platinum team. Yes. Because it's sad that the Fire-type Elite Four trainer... Has two Fire-types. Has an Infernape and a Rapidash. <laughs> you know another thing that they could have done? A Platinum, like, do what they did with the Emerald. Like, they gave, made an Emerald episode at the end of Oraz. Make a Platinum episode for the end of this. That focuses on Giratina. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. At the Instead, same we've got Shaman in the game that you can access with a glitch that might be patched out. But besides that... <laughs> you know what? Again, the Faithful remakes are fine, but... You need to do something with it. I, li I kind of preferred the Oraz remake route. Yeah. For a game that is not afraid to do its own thing within the original adventure. Oh well. I think we've talked enough yeah, about the. I, I think we've talked enough about that kind of stuff, though. I think we need to calm down. Oh boy, it's a whale. Oh it's wait a minute. Huge. Wait a minute. Hold up one second. Pinocchio. Yeah, I was gonna say, are you familiar with Pinocchio? I'm very familiar. Uh, well, no, I'm not very familiar with Pinocchio, but I'm familiar enough to know that the guy got Jonah in the whale to death. Yeah. So, this is our next world, Monstro. Monstro? The whale is the world? Yeah, we're inside the whale. Because he decides, hmm, gummy ship, it must taste like fruit. It's too late, he says, S like, a solid few seconds before he swallowed. You could have flown out of the way. Yeah, we also just put kind of just staring at us, like, why didn't we fly away? And we just read random say, flashbacks. I, I swear I've seen this idea of getting swallowed by a whale multiple times. If I recall correctly, Monkey Ball 2 did that too. It's, I don't think it's that unique of an idea, honestly. No, it really. Isn't. Sometimes we're just like, hmm, what's a weird thing we can do? Swallowed by giant monster. I mean, we did that in Ape Escape. And we went the, inside Dexter. The entirety of Ma Mario and Luigi seems to like to do that. This is very true. With Bowser. Yeah. And even in one case, it wasn't Bowser. Like, got swallowed by Bowletta in uh, the first game, then eaten by a Yob in the second game, and then Bowser's ba inside story is literally all about Vor. Yeah. Somebody's getting off to that, and I just, that makes me uncomfortable. That's unfortunate. I think a lot of things that people get off to make me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I can agree to that. Like, I... I'm, I like to say, I, I can confidently say, I have, like, the opposite of a foot fetish. <laughs> I you hate, a, you know, you know, I hate foot, feet so much. The only version. person whose feet I don't mind are Ryan's, 
But even, like, I don't th- understand why people see a foot and they just, like... Lose their shit. Lose their shit and, like, jerk off. Yeah. I don't understand it. What is sexy about a foot? I, I personally know. can't answer that. And I personally see feet as the ugliest part of the human body. That's my personal opinion. I mean, it attracts the most dirt. <laughs> You really think about it. We use our feet to go through just about Well, everything. Mel explained it a lot to me, and I really don't... Um, I, I can't really re-explain it, because I'm terrible at wording things. I don't remember how to word. So, but apparently it's a brain thing. Yeah, I, I can understand Thanks, that. Goofy. Thanks for explaining to us that we just got swallowed by a whale. Showers involves water, Goofy, not treasure. When would we have met Pinocchio? I mean, I believe Jiminy would know who he is. Look at this, the only world Jiminy has any kind of re- relevance. This is a re- I don't want to know where those doors lead. And I also would like to point out that those are not doors. This is... But this is, this is our next world. You know what this reminds me of? Hey, Ryan, did you, you play Kid Icarus Uprising or no? Yes. Hades' body. That's what this reminds me of, except on a much more realistic scale. Oh, it's not going to be realistic for much longer. I wouldn't expect it to. What have you got there, Pinocchio? With this, you can get out of here, Father. How? How did you even come to that? It's a green rock, basically. So, how did you end up here, Pinocchio? Don't forget about your pedo over there. It sounded like you said, don't forget about the pedo over there. And it's like, well... <laughs> There's somebody who thinks that. Yeah. Geppetto. I'm not going to say the other word. We know that's not true. Pinocchio, do you have ADHD? Pinocchio, can you not just focus on the conversation we're having? Again, when we have met Pinocchio. <laughs> I just realized I used both my rare candies on my my Scurvy without realizing that he was so close to leveling up to 39 anyway, so I kind of wasted one. But oh well, it's not. Rare candies in a playthrough are not things I use very often, I'm not going to lie. I don't really use rare candies all that often anyway, honestly. Even in my Nuzlocks, unless I'm like sick of leveling. Well, I used them in Sword and Shield just simply to get, because they, they were really common right there. Because you can get them from raids. Right. So I used them to level up my things that I want to get to level 100 easily. But beyond that, I don't really use them in playthroughs. Well, that was risky, you saw. Oh, I thought that was a I guess I have to wait for high jump. Fuck. There's like a high jump in this level. I have a drop in now. Nice. Yeah, this is what the rest of the level is going to look like. Not Pinocchio's face, but that. No, you're oh, literally just geez. like jumping around Pinocchio's face. That's what the inside of a schizophrenic person's brain looks like. I thought this was just happening when you eat too much acid. Who, who says Monstro isn't just eating gallons of acid? No, that's Geppetto. (laughs) I mean, he thinks that a little wooden toy is alive and, like, that he got swallowed by a giant whale. He's either on acid or super schizophrenic. (laughs) Or is that, like, a collective illusion? Do you think that Pinocchio is alive? Do you think about the world he's he's from? Yeah. He's a toy. A wooden, a wooden puppet. I'm not a puppet. I'm a real boy. Five shillings for the possessed toy. I haven't watched Shrek one in a long time. I've watched Shrek one so many times. Sometime. I've watched that movie so many times. I've memorized most of the dialogue. Okay. And what? Welcome to the most annoying bird, heartless in the game. One because it likes to teleport and disappear. Okay, it's not doing something heartless in the game. I should amend that, but like, one, it's overused because it appears in the next three worlds. Like, 
I haven't seen many of like the propeller ones since we left Traverse Town. But no, we're gonna get a lot of ghosts going forward. At least this isn't. No, no. I was gonna say this is. I was gonna say this is the worst way to control. You know what? I hate Atlantica for its controls, but I will still play Atlantica before I do this world of, world of me. I would disagree. I would literally rather do anything but Atlantica because I fucking hate the controls for that world. Underwater? Yes. Yeah. And well, it's not like surprised. good underwater controls, it's like horseshit. 90% uh, of the time when I think of underwater controls, good is not the first word that comes to my mind. No. I mean, like... Mario 64, okay, decent controls, but the um, 2D Mario games? Like, I'm not going to lie, when I make Mario Maker levels, I do not make underwater levels very often because, well, aside from being very broken if you don't do them right, it's just underwater controls suck ass. I should shut up because I've also made a very annoying water underwater level, so. I was just in this room. This are, these heartless aren't supposed to respawn. That's what acid will do to you, my friend. Brings back your animal for your nightmares. Yeah! I don't know. I've never done acid before. There's apparently a PS1 game that just becomes the weirdest thing. It's, called, it's literally called LSD Dream Simulator. That's a thing? Yeah. What the fuck? It's a PS1 game, but so it made like early 2000s, late 90s. Man, they really and wanted to get the point across that doing acid was a good idea. Yeah, I've watched the video on it, it's one of the weirdest things. Like, it just does not make any sense. Oh, Japan. This is when you're supposed to tell me that it wasn't a giant game made in Japan. I think it was, though. Okay, well, then that makes sense. I don't remember who the developer was, though. What? About a Steve Dream, Dream Simulator. Fuck I know. Don't do drugs, kids. We hear three doors closing up. Drugs. Drugs? Ducks? 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 No Titanic? No dogs. Dogs? Oh, wait, Goofy's also here. Oh, uh, speaking of Goofy and Donald, uh, and ducks and dogs, I guess, um, I've been watching, I've been following a comic series that. Um, a studio called Woodplank Studio does. They make, they've made a bunch of things, but they do, they've been doing a Smash Brothers series comics where it's called Everyone is Home, and it's literally like the same, the entire Smash roster living in, together in one environment. Okay. And right now they're doing a big, big arc where Sephiroth killed the entire cast, and now they're trying to go about reviving everybody. So, that all happened while the, that arc was already, like, before, the, the arc started before Sora was revealed and announced and released for Smash. So once Sora was revealed, they put him in when Sephiroth came back to threaten Bowser. And and at that point, they've been making references to the Duck Hunt with um, Sora the entire time. Like, the entire reason why Duck Hunt was revived was because of Sora. Because he rem they reminded him of do Donald and Goofy. <laughs> also, at one point, just stealthily as a background element, Sora puts a Donald cap on Falco. It's mildly entertaining. Yeah, one of the worst parts about this level is if you fall, it, there's no easy way to get back up. Yeah. You have to go through everything again. Yep. Yep. So I'm trying my hardest to keep myself on this platform. There's not enough that Donald and Goofy keep pulling them to the other side. Parents don't do this with the stuff to me. I was about to say that October never ends with you, does it? No. It's Halloween in my soul. Do you want to see the phone case I ordered, Matt? It's Halloween thing. For my new phone. I wish I could uh, just think it all. I do feel like I should get a better phone case because this one, the, the camera is... Because uh, this was for my old phone. Ooh. I got it on Red Bull, actually. My current phone case and my current phone, like, the camera does not align with a hole for it. So, whenever I use my camera, there's just, like, you can't see anything on the bottom. So I need to get a different phone case for this. Even though the current one fits, I just need a better one.
did me. <laughs> that's right. all, all I got. <laughs> right. That's the. You know what? That's that's all we really needed. I always lose my place in Monstro because it just it, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. Acid trips. If you want to get most, of, even if it's not all, but most of the treasure, you are going to have to do put up with this game's version of platforming. Oh, Ryan. And yeah, that, that little keep, that little swing I take is actually necessary to make some jumps. Yeah, I can understand because you don't have a double jump. No. You get a high jump later, but it's just a well, higher great. jump. great. <laughs> I get to glide later, too. Yeah, after Peter Pan. Spoiler. Oh, well, Captain Hooker already appeared, so I guess. This game came out like 20 years ago, Matt. Get over it. <laughs> I've never played this game before. And once again, Smash managed to spoil shit for me for this, too, but I'm not going to say anything. Well, I already fell, so fuck it. We'll see everybody in the next episode of Three Dogs Plays. Bye, everyone. Hey, you, did this, you. you did this in Ape Escape as well.